Pardon moi, and why should Yvonne be interrupted while he is cooking his world famous caribou kebabs, huh? My Charles Hercules chest expander just arrived in the mail. It's guaranteed to expand my chest in only six weeks. And why does Tommy wish to expand his chest, huh? What is next? A brochure, perhaps? Very funny. Just watch, and I'll demonstrate. What kind of treachery is this? Great! Okay, now watch this. You see? This is my problem. I bet if I had chest hairs like you, I could do it easy. <laughs> yes, well, Tommy, such is the mark of a man. Frenchman Yvonne was his name. Exploring new worlds he dreamed was his fame. But reading a map was not his forte. So poor Yvonne was soon cast away. Yvonne, Yvonne, oh, oh will you come? Sailing the stormy seas. Yvonne, Yvonne, oh, will you No one could hear his pleas. He soon found himself in a bit of a pickle. The frigid North Seas proved more than fickle. Yvonne's navigation would soon cost a price. He was knocked overboard and turned into ice. Yvonne, Yvonne Yukon, hapless volunteer. Yvonne, Yvonne, all the Yukon, frozen for hundreds of years. Three hundred years passed, and with some irony, his scheme was thought of by what's need to pee. Yvonne claimed the land for his country's glory, and, and that's, that's the start of the Yvonne story. Yvonne, Yvonne, all the Yukon, frozen by icy seas. Yvonne, Yvonne, all the Yukon, defrosted for you and for me. I must have been sick the day they passed out the manly jeans. Tommy, my friend, why so glum? I don't want to talk about it. Besides, how could you understand? You got tons of chest hair. You're loaded with nose hairs. You got a permanent five o'clock shadow. Uh huh. What you say is true. Yvonne grows hair in the places others only dream of. Dark, mysterious places. Legendary, sweaty places fueled by life on the sea. Real, honest hairs that cannot be plucked by puny tweezers. No, no, it must be yanked out like a weed in the yard. Strong, manly hair, glowing to me like a shirt of hair. Oh, oh, big mistake. 
Boy, did we blow it, son. What's wrong? It says here in this ancient and sacred tribal customs manual that you should have completed your Inuit manhood test a couple of months ago. What ancient and sacred tribal customs manual? Let me see. Then the young warrior must spend 48 hours in the tundra by himself to prove he is a man. It's all here in black and white. Uh, how come I never heard of this before? Because it's a closely guarded secret. Yvonne has certainly heard of such things. Why, I remember in the court of King Louis, I had to prove my manhood in the most cruel and unusual ways. Yvonne, today we measure the true extent of your manhood. Will you accept the two yards? Oui, Mon Majesty. <laughs> Will you accept three yards? Oui! Then make it so! Oh, to face one's demons, Tommy, and to conquer them! This is what it means to be a man! 48 hours alone in the tundra? I'll, I'll be dead in 20 minutes. Bah, Tommy, you worry about nothing. What could go wrong? A little cold, perhaps? A few polar bears? A mad trapper or two? Starving to death? Sunstroke? Falling through the ice and drowning? Uh, uh, did I mention polar bears? That does it. There's no way I'm going out there. Ah, Tommy will be fine. All he needs is a few simple pointers, and I, Yvonne the Conqueror, am just a simpleton to give them to him. <laughs> Lesson number one. No axe, no wood, no wood, no fire. So get chopping. <laughs> it's too big. Uh, you mean you are too small. Step aside and let Yvonne demonstrate. The fire, she is like a spirited woman. You approach her carefully, and then when the time is right, she ignites, sending everyone running for their lives. <laughs> Waiter, <laughs> these bones are burnt. Yvonne, <laughs> why can't we just buy a fish at the store? Have you not heard the saying, buy a fish, you have food for one meal? Learn to fish, and you, you, uh, uh have a lot of fish. <laughs> The weather, she is much colder, eh, Tommy? <laughs> okay, now we get serious. Uh, Vaughn, I'll never make it out there. I can't cut wood, I can't build a fire, I can't even catch a fish. Hey there, fellas. How's it going? Wonderful! I have taught him everything I know. Tommy, for your manhood test, I brought you an authentic tribal good luck medallion. It was given to me by my father, who got it from his father, who won it from a gum machine at the Lucky Moron grocery store and casino in Yellowknife. It's solid gold. Did he say solid gold? That must be worth a fortune. Not that I'm interested in acquiring such an insignificant trinket. Short of killing anyone, that is. Tommy, you can do it. Think of this not as a do-or-die test, but as a do-or-die vacation. Go crazy. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm doomed. I might as well get it over with right now and just die like a dog on the tundra. Tommy, wait! We must learn to build the latrine! <laughs> give up! Give up! <laughs> oh, beginner's luck! Rematch! That's 99 out of 100. Gary, you'll need Giant snowstorm coming! Repeat, there's a giant snowstorm coming! Do not panic! Do not panic! He won't be okay. He will. He won't. He will. He won't. Die! Don't worry, Tommy. Yvonne will save you before you become the frozen teamsicle. I don't get it, Duke. I'm talking about our retirement plan, you idiot. All we have to do is pill for that medallion while Tommy is asleep. And bingo, all be the richest... I mean, we'll be the richest men in all of the Yukon. What's a medallion? Never mind. We'll leave this afternoon, and because I have no intention of freezing to death, we'll use that strange little auto gyro of yours. All right. But whatever's we get, I ain't sitting for no less than 10%. You got that. <laughs> my little rose petal, but wherever it is, we ain't planning to steal no medallion or nothing. Hmm, not bad. Yeah! All right, whoever's in there, you, you better come out. Ah! Sacre bleu! Cannot a man have his privacy? Vaughn, what are you doing here? What else? Seeing a man about the moose. Go home. Don't you get it? I gotta make it through these 48 hours by myself or I'll never be a man. But, Tommy, you are my friend. Leave me alone. Herr Vaughn cannot let you freeze. But... <laughs> We should begin our in-flight venom service. Tommy, it takes a man to save a man.
Are you okay? Madame, I swear, these are not my underwear. Uh-oh. Maxi, you're tough. You're hot. Give it all you got, yeah! Oh, 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 oh what a feeling! Oh, oh, crap. Uh, oh. Hello? Luba, have you seen the Duke or that layabout husband of mine lately? Oh, sorry, Big Mary. Afraid I haven't. Well, that's good, because me and the girls were sitting around chewing the fat, and we were wondering if you wanted to join us. Uh, you know, uh, I think I'll take a pass on that, Big Mary, but um, I'll be sure to keep a watch out for those fellers. Over. What is this? Itchy can't. Jeez, Big Mary's gonna kill me! That was your favorite tent. We spent a whole week of our honeymoon in there. You and her spent a week in that? <laughs> you fool! I set off with his head, not his trousers. Bring me my tailor! Great. Just what I need. A delirious 300-year-old Frenchman with one leg. Yes! Railway tracks! We're saved! All we have to do is wait for the next train to come along. You know, I read in this magazine once, if you put your tongue on the tracks and it don't stick, a train went by. And if it does stick, there's one a-coming. Also read the best way to get your tongue off frozen tracks is to use some kind of warm liquid, which is real hard to find out here. Hey, only warm liquid I can think of is. No! Ah, my little flower. I shall shower you with pollen. Come on, Yvonne, you gotta eat something. Oh, great. My last night on Earth, and I gotta spend it listening to Yvonne. So, so th this is how you become a man, huh? Freeze to death in the, in the, in the middle of, uh, of nowhere? Now that makes a lot of sense. Dad! My son, I am proud of you. You have not forgotten the ways of our ancestors. I haven't? You must follow the migrating muskox. They will lead you home. Oh, and don't forget to close the door on the way out, Dad. Yvonne, wake up! I know how to get us out of here. According to the vision, the muskox migrate right past up your mukla. All we gotta do is find them. Just don't throw up on me, okay? Hey, Dill, how's it going? Not good. I think I made a big mistake. I made up this phony tribal manhood test hoping Tommy would feel better about himself if he spent a couple of easy nights in the bush. I never counted on a snowstorm. Oh, jeez. Well, we better round up a search party then. Luba, I hardly think it's time to party. Just like in the vision. Now all we gotta do is climb aboard and get you lift back to town. Jeez, 
You are not wolves. You are sled dogs. You are not wolves. You are sled dogs. Would you knock it off? Well, we gotta do something, Zeke. Call out the Mounties or use that, uh, infrared uh, satellite hey, thingy. Hey, Luba! Check this out. Sacrebleu? Could it be uh, we are in France? Vive la France! Vive la Kimberly! Don't worry, folks. They're not dead. Oh. Tommy, thank goodness. I was worried you weren't going to make it. Uh, I was worried too, Dad. Until I saw that vision of yours. Harla! Quick! Why is around? Ah, you see? We did it. Young Tommy is saved. And if it wasn't for Holland and myself risking our lives in that terrible snowstorm. You didn't save nobody. Tommy saved you. Yeah, you liars. Come on, let's get him. <laughs> so, Tommy, tell me more about this vision of yours. Well, you were kind of floating in midair, on a toilet, actually, and you told me to follow the musk ox herd. <laughs> Those crazy visions. What'll they come up with next? We never get any muskocks around here. You know, Tommy, to be a real man, you do not need to be as strong or as brave as Yvonne, or even as handsome, as if that were possible. They come for miles around to see me, I am uh. here. They love to touch me, and they cannot leave their hands away from me. Yvonne! I did it! <laughs> I'm finally a man! What's that, Tommy? What did you say? 